Well, there are again, more internet thingies. But this time it's going to be with a new computer instead of an old one. Let's see if we can actually get this to work, because I'm actually very curious. Alright, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and mention a couple things. Number one, thank you everybody for a thousand subscribers. I'm actually monetized now. So, yeah, that's nice. I'll be setting up a bunch of things for the channel here soon, within the next few days. Uh, so be looking out for updates. But, uh, yeah, there's not really a whole lot else, so let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to be working with is going to be this device right here. This is something I found in a drawer. Uh, basically, it's just a little extender, or like a hub link, I think is what it's called. But it has all sorts of ports for serial printers, your mouse and keyboard, and some extra USB ports, as well as an Ethernet, which is really nice. So we're going to be using this for this laptop. So that's going to be, you know, relatively helpful. Let's get that plugged in. All right. Then we are going to get the trusty US Robotics V90. Get that all plugged in. Alright, after those few needed adjustments, now there's only one thing left, and that is to actually get into it. Let's get all the settings set up. Now, while I am actually setting things up, let's uh, get into some of the specs of this computer. It has a single gigahertz uh, Intel i5 processor of some kind. It has 12 gigabytes of RAM with a one terabyte hard drive, which is actually pretty good. But the one gigahertz does make it a bit of a dog, so yeah, it, it's it, it, it's not particularly good at um, much. Except for crashing, it's really good with crashing. Okay, uh, I try to set up dial-up and it goes straight to MSN because I haven't turned it on. Let's try that. So now that it is on, let's see if it actually is going through with anything. Let's just reach over here. Yes, I'm wearing a green shirt. Alright, so it is connected all correctly. We've just got to, oh, let me just do this. Alright, so that's set up. We have the hub over there set up. We'll do a nice serial reset just to check and make sure. Alrighty. Uh, yes, that is my... Let's just X out of that because we don't need that right now. We need to set up a new connection. Here we go, let's try this. Hmm. Okay, well, does not have it in the stock settings with setting up a new dial-up connection. Let's try, yeah, no, it does not look like it. Here we go, no, dial-up adapter. Here we go, this is what we needed. Hmm, not recognizing it. Well, all right, let's try something else. Okay, so I have a disc or thingy here that we can use. Just kinda, there we go. There we go. I've had this computer for two years and I still do the same dumb things as I did when I first got the dang thing. Okay, let's uh, set up Juno. Let's get a little bit closer to the screen, why don't we? 
Okay, so after some careful um, trying to work things out, yeah, it's not going to work. So when dial up on Windows 10 does not work, but I do know something that does. Okay, so since Windows 10 didn't want to work with dial up, understandably, um, this is another one of my laptops. This is pretty much the exact same computer, but older, and I'm pretty sure this has a faster <laughs> CPU as well. Anyways, um, this is my 2007 Dell Inspiron B130 with a Celeron M, I believe 1.2 gigahertz. I could be wrong, but I believe that sounds about right. Um, and no sound card, but it's mangled in a few ways like the it, it, it's just well used yeah that's what i'm gonna say all right so i'm gonna type in my juno information so let's just do that real quick all right so i'm just gonna zoom in just a tad bit just to get a better view All right, so should we go through them? There we go. Now this is a process that I've gone through on the uh, Dell dimension and from that I have realized that it is going to take a good long while but it'll get there eventually and the eventually part is what we're waiting for so we're going to be here for a while <laughs> oh or maybe not unless it, it, it just crash no no it's connected in some way shape or form Perfect. All right. I take that back. That took like two minutes. All right, let's, uh, let's dial in. Maybe. Let's find out if it's actually connected or if it's just... Okay. <laughs> Never mind then. The computer knows best. All right. She connected, I guess. So I believe this is actually the most modern device that we can use for connecting to the internet and dial-up, or for dial-up. Um, I could be wrong, so I'm going to try another machine that I have that is a slightly newer and, to be honest, a little bit more crappy, uh, running Windows Vista, which might be the reason why it's so crappy. <laughs> um, but that'll be in a separate video. I will let y'all... Uh, I'll just let y'all hang on to this one for a little bit longer. So let's see here if it actually connects. I'm going to zoom y'all in a little bit just to help so you can see. 
All right, so. Uh, I don't care. I'll just cancel that. Okay, so. <clears throat> it is finally loaded. Uh, the little time down there in the bottom right is the correct time. If you can actually read that, which I can't even read that, so whatever. Um, yeah, it took probably about five minutes for everything to load in, which was enough time for me to... That is not where I am. Hmm. Well, okay, that's actually kind of cool. So it looks like we're actually going to end up getting farther than we did on the Dimension, which is going to be nice. So let's actually go to my email. 11 new emails. That's nice. Now we will wait, uh, I don't know, another 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes for this to start up. My email is in the bottom part of the wonderful description, I believe. I Yeah, that sounds about right. But uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at this email address, retrogamer85 at juno.com. I think yes dot com and that and every time if you want me to every time I check the email using dial-up <sighs> now we just need to wait another let's see here what is loading um <sighs> yeah this is gonna be a minute a very long minute Alright, so my thought is that it is just going to keep loading because I don't actually think anything's going to happen. So I'm going to try a different approach. I'm actually going to hit the inbox button, which I have now realized. So let's just push that button. While exiting out of this. Because that might actually make it go slower. Um, and for now, I'm going to fit... Actually, hold on. Can I have two things going at once, or is that just going to mess everything up? Close that, because I don't necessarily need that right now. Uh, let's go to here. That is connecting. Good. This, yeah, I'm going to go to see if I can look myself up. So. Okay, so that's going to open up another tat or another window regardless. So I can just go ahead and close that out, close this out as well, and full screen this. So this is the only dial-up thing running. Once again, I'll uh, come back when it's fully loaded. See you in a second. Alrighty, so that's, that quick moment is over, and uh, let's see here. More convenient, uh, sending your homepage to Juno. Set my homepage. I will gladly do that. Thank you very much. Close that. Alrighty. Well, here is my Juno, Juno mail. Uh, let's see here. What emails have I gotten this time? Load the emails, please. Uh, U.S. Pacific. No, I am central. Thank you very much. Oh, here we go. Alright, so it turns out that everything actually does work with my email. Um, I have all of my, or all of the previous emails that I have had from other videos, and uh, yeah, it's all loaded right here, which is really nice. I've even, I've had a few emails from viewers, which I will not get into because of confidentiality reasons, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, everything works, which is really nice. I'm Next thing we're going to try is going to be uh, trying to connect to AOL because that I have not actually tried to do on this computer yet. So we'll leave that one up to the next video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for 1,000 views. Or <laughs> Sorry, I've gotten a lot more than 1,000 views on some of these videos. 1,000 subscribers. Uh, that is a very big milestone. Honestly, I never thought I was going to get to that point. But hey, here I am. Thank you so much and take care.